felt like the offense was just kind of out of sync at times today. What did you think of your group's performance? Incredibly inconsistent. Obviously didn't do near enough to win. You know, the, the two turnovers just, for us, absolutely critical. So, not, not good enough. Jeff, you talked about that fourth down where you're just needing one first down. Just the mindset going into that last drive. I know they had all their timeouts. Are you just trying to exhaust time? Yeah, we wanted to make sure they used all three, but we were trying like heck to get a first down. So felt like running the ball, having the ability to, to pin them there without any timeouts, making them go the length um, was, was the right thing to do. That's why I ran it there on third down. Uh, got to execute better. We got a chance to win the game if we stay on the field, get one first down, but we don't do it. Jim, how would you maybe just assess, uh, I guess, your play calling today too? Not good enough. I mean, obviously, we're standing here after getting beat, so not not good enough. Jeff, what other way to play? It looks like you had a lot of rhythm with Sexton and then Green and on the left side of the line. Came at a halftime, flipped that back. What kind of went into that to have that first time? Right yeah, now? just constantly trying to make sure we got the right guys on the field. So we'll watch the tape, look at it, and decide how we need to adjust. Talk a little bit about Talby's game, what he was able to bring to the team today. Yeah, played strong, played tough. Said it earlier, but. I uh, hate that he's not able to, to fill a victory after the way he played. Without him there, how much, uh, how much harder did that make, you know, play call in there after Ethan gets the ball back for you with yeah. two and a half left? Still want to be able to go execute and get a first down to win the game. That's the reality of it. And, and we didn't do that. So that's, uh, you know, had a chance to win it there and, and didn't do it. Dylan only had 19 pass attempts. Was that just a factor of the weather today, or was it something that you guys, the run game was working? Or? No, a big part of it was obviously the weather. You know, and wanted to, we felt like we were running the ball well. We had really good success and uh, wanted to continue to, to run the rock to put us in position to, to go win the game. So uh, that, that's how that played out. Jeff Brent said that you could identify a play, wish he'd had over, and that was when they converted on fourth down against OU's defense. Would have called timeout had he had it. To do, over, to do over. Is there a play that you might like back? Looking just in, in quick reflection. Yeah, there, there's going to be a couple of them. Uh, I want back the first down call already from uh, from the four minute situation. Had a chance to probably put a little more air in the defense instead of being in a heavier personnel to, to help us. But uh, that was the game plan going in. Liked it, but with the flow of the game, probably not the right thing to do there. Need to have a little more air in it for, for our guys. Did you get a look to one on those two-point conversions, both two-point conversion calls? Yeah, we did. Uh, we did. We, on, on Gavin's, uh, we, we actually run past the defensive end. Uh, he's he's going to score, and it's really good. And then had a chance for uh, for Nick in the back corner there. Uh, you know, and didn't, didn't convert. After you got the running game going, did you get away from it there the rest of the first half a little bit? The throwing? Yeah. You know, felt like we had we were trying to get a little more rhythm while the weather was a little better and, and trying to throw it around at times. Uh, still was very limited throwing the football. Uh, felt like, again, the, the right thing to do was trying to stay ahead of the sticks. Didn't do it at times because of, uh, you know, some missed throws, whatever it may be. But uh, again, running the football was that, that wasn't the issue, obviously. Had chances to go win the game there with uh, in, the, in the three minute, four minute situation. Don't get it done. How difficult can it be for a wide receiver to take a snap at running back like Jalil and just not used to those hits maybe in traffic like that? Yeah, we've talked a lot about it. You try to talk about it as much as anything to uh, to create understanding of how you're going to take hits in, inside the core. And uh, it happened today. And again, you, you know, we had the turnovers. Those things happen, and that's you know two reasons why we're, we're standing here right now the way we are. What did you see on Dylan's pick six early in the game? Yeah, it was a, you know, that was one where I probably could have taken the throw option off of it, handed the football. It was third and three there. Uh, box was heavy, so he was going to throw it and uh, got to the stop late. And the guy jumped it and made a good play on it. In perfect world, you know, we throw it over the guy's head and move on. What do you make of Dylan's performance after that? I think he completed like his next 12 passes, had the three rushing touchdowns. D Dylan played really tough. The issue was spotting them seven points the way we did. Jeff, you mentioned the inconsistencies. It seems like that's been somewhat of an issue at times this season. How do you correct that, especially with only a few games left? Is that something you guys can correct in practice? or? 
Yeah, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna have to. We've got to get in there and, and clean it up and, and get it corrected before we go to Stillwater next Saturday. Jeff, when you get into the season, how much do they actually like work on Hail Mary situations, stuff like that, like week to week? Yeah, we, we actually worked on it on Thursday. It's something we do every single week. You know, they're not live situations, but they are situations where you try to, you know, put your guys in positions of success. You watch other people doing it uh, to try to create awareness of it and, and uh, try to go make a play there at the end.